how do we handle money in our marriage? Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, girl, your money is your money. Is our money. My money is my money. So the man guys, my name is Tommy Lola. You are welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> our name is Fumi Mark. And if you are new here, you are welcome. You are in the right place for <laughs> insightful and enriching content. Okay. And if you are our old subscribers, you guys are the real G. Thank you for coming back again and again and again. And please do subscribe if yeah. you are new. Please subscribe. Press that button. It doesn't bite. Yeah. It doesn't bite. It doesn't bite. And at like all. this video, please mm-hmm. like it. As so you are just looking at it, just tap that button. Mm-hmm. Like it. Thank you very much. And let's jump to so, that. So what do we have today? We want to talk about things that destroy marriages. Oh, 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 guys, before we even go into that, what do you think about that introduction? Please, let me know in the comment section. Did I nail yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Encourage her to touch her own YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So say, go to me, go to me, go! <laughs> Oh, so back to our discussion. So you said today we we're talking yeah, about things that destroy marriages. Yeah, things that actually ruins marriages. Marriage is beautiful, you know. I always say this. I know there are a lot of things out there. There are a lot of oh, marriages are scums. Oh, marriages are this. But I'm here. Yeah, see, that is why I'm on this channel. That is why I'm on YouTube to tell you that marriage is actually a beautiful thing. Yes, that you can really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yes. So number one, so number one is com- poor communication. communication. Yes. When we talk about poor communication, this is the inability to communicate effectively, and this actually cuts across all the fears of relationship, be it friendship, mm-hmm. be it and um, boss and subordinate relationship, be it and um, any parents other and parents and children relationship, father to son, anyone, because it's actually the blood, communication is actually the blood of any relationship. And when you notice that there is a gap in communication, you should try as much as possible as as, as husband and wife to do it, to mend it, you know. Mm-hmm. When you know that there is a bridge in communication, when you know that ah, things are not going the way it should be for some days now, don't say, mm, no, no. I even find it hard to see reason why husband and wife will be keeping malice. Someone will keep it for days, Please. weeks, and somebody is ready to like let go of it. Mm-hmm. It, shouldn't be. it shouldn't be. As much as there is gap in communication, we should. we should try as much as possible to make sure that the gap is been breached yeah so please poor communication destroy homes it, it can destroy homes. Yes. yeah and the other one we want to talk about is money mm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> this way <laughs> I don't know like mm. we, we Say something. Say Some something. people just feel like when I love, when we love each other, that is enough. Where mm. even you know, finances will clear your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like you to see life as it is. When you start paying, buying bills. diaper, let's start from buying of diaper. When you start paying Pay bills, bills, and bills can so much be owed that you will not even know how much it is until you get involved in it. You know, school fees now. When you get to know the school fees people are paying, you feel like ah ah, this can even buy a plot of land. <laughs> See, finance needs, we need to have financial management. Yeah. We need to talk, bring our resources together. You know, there was a time before I got married. I remember yeah. I and my husband were reading a book by Pigile Akoni. He okay. was talking about no longer two, two. the yeah. coming one. Mm. So I, I can't remember if I get the title correctly, but it's about marriage. And they, 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 no more two. No more two. Yeah. Thank you. So the man talked about finance, and I am um, we are still cutting there. And he said, "Okay, let's discuss this thing. Okay, how do we handle money in our marriage?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, girl, "Your money is your money. Is our money? My money is my money." In fact, I was joking, but no, don't, 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 don't let us even go into that because it's another video. Oh, okay, okay. Don't, don't let us mm-hmm. go into that okay. because okay. I know, I know, I know a lot of my a lot of my younger younger sisters have been asking and younger. And for me, talk about this. Too. It's <laughs> okay. my money, my money. Ah. And was, <laughs> we okay. actually, we actually going to talk about it's, it's a video, on it too. Okay. but generally, mm. finances, money huh. can ruin. It can. If it's not properly managed, it can. Yes. Yes. If there is, if there is an inadequate 
finances yes, in yes. the home, like not the finances enough. Is not enough uh, yeah. um, uh, it can uh, scatter mm. home. Like you want you, to we fight about everything. Everything. Like why did you press the suitcase like this? <laughs> <laughs> why did you press the suitcase this long no, on your brush? Why did you? Ah. Why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you soaking your clothes? <laughs> Can't you wash immediately? But if there is money, yeah, um, those things will not matter. You will, you will call dry cleaner to come and carry those clothes and go and watch it. I will say money can help you service your relationship. Yes. Like effortlessly. Effortlessly. Money is not like it's not like if you have money you will enjoy you your marriage. Mm -hmm. You will be fine. But money will help you to you enjoy, enjoy your marriage. marriage. Don't yeah. let us down play the role of money. It can help you enjoy your marriage and it can it can destroy your marriage. It's not yeah. well managed. Yeah. So you have to actually sit down and talk about it. Mm -hmm. How do we want have a budget? Have a budget. Get money. Yeah. Get money. <laughs> get yeah. skills that can earn you money. money. Get yeah. your, do a lot of things that can get you money. So work on these things, all right? Number number three. Okay. Number three is in I think long distance relationship. Mm, long distance marriages. marriages. Yeah. Because you're talking about marriage. Mm -hmm. Long distance marriages. Yeah. You know we can. We can give ourselves one thousand and one reasons yeah. to, to say, justify. Oh, is is in the US? I'm in Nigeria. See, is in the US. I'm in the UK. Is <laughs> <laughs> in Canada. I'm in Malaysia. <laughs> and we are, and we are winging it. Say, if it's for a period of time, maybe you went for a course, maybe mm -hmm. a two year course, mm -hmm. or, or okay, a, a three year course, it's, it's still understandable. On oh, vacation. On oh, vacation, mm -hmm. it's still understandable. But there is no plan. In like, in yes, you yes. Know, some people, even, don't let, don't, US, UK is very far. Yeah. See, let, let's go back to the scripture. Okay. It was not designed like that. Yes. God didn't bring Adam and Eve and say, Adam, stay out of the garden. Stay in the garden. Eve, Eve stay out of the garden. garden. Be and, meeting at the garden, garden and the <laughs> <laughs> You understand? So, we, we, husband and wife are meant to be together. Mm. I know there are uh, work that can actually, okay, maybe the guy is working in Lagos, someone else, the, the wife is working in in Abuja and they are finding say please let's get to that point this thing can actually ruin the home yeah. I know you've been trying to manage it you've been trying but <laughs> the way it has been ordained the two of you must be together uh -huh. find a way it can be a five years plan okay after working five years okay how can we do it that one person will come over you, you know just walk around it so that the two of you will be together both of you will be together. both of you will be will be together for your for your children mm -hmm. okay both of you are present mm -hmm. you understand you know some some people they don't even know they, they don't maybe they see their father once in a, once in a year <laughs> and how can you can't there's, there's one god bless one of my teacher i hope i hope one of my lecturer mr Professor Dr. Wojere, he was working in Obafemi Awolowo University there, and he said something. He said, "I can't, I can't father by proxy." He said, "I can't father by proxy," and I'm like, "Wow!" Because the family were actually in in Canada, so he, he left the job and went to go and meet them. Wow. They are doing fine. Shout out to you. You are, you are um, one of the do best fathers out there. these distant marriages? You know, when you are having a distant marriage, mm -hmm. it will get a time that you get like used to it. Yes. You won't even want the other person to the encroach you. To come back life. again. Yeah. Like, you just feel like, I'm alone. Because in a way, you still feel like I'm alone, I'm, I'm independent. Mm -hmm. If I feel like cooking for the children, if I feel like eating out, mm -hmm. if I feel like traveling, you know, you are just alone. When the person even comes now, there's a way you now be doing as if you just get married. married yeah. So, you can just get to a space where a stage where you get comfortable mm -hmm. with being alone Please. and the two of you will start living apart mm -hmm. you know there are situations that can cause that mm -hmm. but as soon as possible, possible try to rectify it mm -hmm. it can actually ruin your marriage yeah. exactly. okay the next one we'll be talking about is unforgiveness yeah unforgiveness yeah. can yeah. actually ruin your home mm -hmm. yeah so people have keep records of how they are of, spouse, wrongs. of wrongs and they have just like ah shagun did not I asked for Shegun? I asked money from Shegun yesterday. He did not give me. And Shegun did this. Shegun did that. And at the end of the day, they are so bitter Sad. and just they are resenting that person hmm. because of the odd and unforgiveness in their heart. Hmm. And when you are abhorring unforgiveness towards someone, there is no way you can seek the good of that person. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can pray for that person. Mm -hmm. You wish.
wish that person evil, you, you wish that the marriage should even end. Mm -hmm. So definitely it will ruin such marriage mm -hmm. if you are somebody, if you are someone who finds it difficult to forgive people. That means marriage is not for you. Yes. Yeah. Because you will keep hurting each other and you keep forgiving. Yeah, you are, you are right. This issue of unforgiveness starts from you even living with your siblings. Mm. Mm. It's not when you get married that you start <laughs> learning forgiveness. That day, from that day you, 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 you collected the marriage certificate, just know that you collected also forgiveness certificate, mm. that you keep forgiving, yes. you keep forgiving, you keep forgiving. Again. You know, there are so many things, you know, but you just forgive, you just move on. Mm. There was a time my husband said, before we got married, he said, I will never hurt you. <laughs> never to a hot uh. when we got married he <laughs> said i need to rephrase that one <laughs> I will keep hurting you. <laughs> but but it, it, won't be mind, it won't be intentional. Mm -hmm. But definitely, I will do some things that it will hurt you. But one thing is, I will be ready to ask for forgiveness and move on with it. So that's it about relationship. Even friendship. Yeah. You hurt each other. Yeah. We are not the best of mom beings, like the best we of... Fight we fight, but we are still... <laughs> we, are, we just find a way around it. Forgive each other and, and let on. go of the offenses and... Yeah, so unfor unforgiveness can actually ruin a marriage. Yeah. yeah. Please, you don't understand how people would do marriage without God. Mm. You understand? Yeah, you can't even like marriage too, you know? A marriage is like, a, it's even a house, you know? You are building it. The storm of life will come. Challenges will come. Odds will come. This long distance relationship, so a marriage itself, will come. Different things will come up in marriage. Children, everything will come up in marriage. Is how how well your marriage is intertwined in God. How well you were able to be in tune with God. You know, they understand. So, little things like, oh, go and say sorry. You know, there are sometimes my husband will ask me and I'm like, Holy Spirit, tell him to come and apologize. <laughs> I think we're in the same WhatsApp group. <laughs> tell him to come and apologize. He did yes. I was a was a day. We had one. Misunderstanding. I was cold, hmm. and I was. I said, I'm, I told him, I'm, I'm going to bed. Good night. So he said, Okay. I said, God, how cold. I need some cold to <laughs> tell this man to come. <laughs> And he came. Oh my goodness, he's a man of God, he's a man of God. Do you understand? <laughs> he just said, are you not feeling good? I said, yes, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So little, little things like no, that. Be because you guys have the same spirit in you. You guys have the Holy Spirit in you. You guys have the word of God in you. You can easily set to correct, you know. But a home without God, mm -hmm. a home without the spirit of God in it, a home without the atmosphere of God, on the fiber to crashing that's just it because it's a, the word of god should be like an anchor that we hold the yes. all together if there is no word of god the house will just be in shambles mm -hmm. because like she said it, the instructions that you will even receive from god things that the holy spirit will inspire you to do that can save your mind that you will mm -hmm. not find it anywhere mm -hmm. no coach will even be able to tell you at that moment mm -hmm. the holy spirit will just it come in the form of a whisper mm -hmm. do this do that yeah. and it will reignite the fire in the marriage mm -hmm. so we can't do life without the word of god neither mm -hmm. can we do marriage Without that too. It. Yes, let, let me butcher that point. I remember that there was this friend of mine that when we were when we in the university, I actually told her, okay, she wanted to get to the, get into a relationship. So I told her, I said, oh girl, try as much as possible to get the word of God for this relationship. I know this really sounds sound insane in this generation. See, so far we have peace. We can go into the relationship. But I remember that like two or three years later, it came, she came to me and said, Fumi, thank you. Even not for that word you said I should go and get, you know. When you get that word, that word is like an anchor. Yes, like, yes. this is what God has told yes. us. We are sure of this word. Mm. We are sure of this. You understand? So, and anything that is built on the word of God. It will last. will last. It will stand the test of time. It will stand the test, the test of, of time. time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so please. Okay, the next one we're talking about is intimacy. Well, let me sex. <laughs>
Sex, if you are under 18 years. Don't say sex. Don't talk about sex too much. Yeah. Just say, mm, do the do. Yeah, do the do. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might have a lot of words for it. Not sex in the real sense mm -hmm. of it, but there are some coded yes. things that we just. I am we can be in a place and be talking about <laughs> sex. And you will not even have an idea of what we are talking about. We have one. <laughs> <should> we <say? laughs> no, no. Uh, I that means we are. <laughs> When there's the one that we know, so yes, intimacy in marriage. You know, we cannot underemphasize this too. Mm -hmm. As much as spiritual as we have, mm -hmm. we still desire this. We long to be cuddled, to be touched, to and all, and all sorts. And poor sex yes. can actually destroy you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will see people, pastors used to say it, that people will come for counseling and they will not even know the head and the tail of what they are talking about. But when you now get, maybe they're now interrogating them, they will get to know that it is sex. Mm -hmm. Poor sex will make people to nag. Mm -hmm. If you are not being satisfied sexually, you will just be nagging on any little things. There's a way we, there's a pleasure that comes from being sexually satisfied. satisfied. So if, it's, if sex is poor, seek help. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to yourself like mm, it's poor, it's poor. Uh, every time it is missionary, missionary. Explore. Do you know? Do you know there was? Do you know we, we actually even check with damn it too. We actually check ourselves on when was the last time we had sex. Mm -hmm. like, For you to know, as like, women we can get stressed. Stress we can. Every, we like, ask, oh God, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> Do you know? It's not as if we want to know the the intricacy or everything, but we just How want to fun. show that we are accountable. Which ties are you still, still doing? doing? Is it only one What's spy? Exploit. Let the marriage be exploit. Sometimes we even learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Try this thing. Try this one. Get back to me. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if you can, if you can't actually, like I said, the process can actually ruin, ruin marriage. Mm -hmm. That is one aspect of it. Infidelity, unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. Can actually ruin them. It's still under sex. Maybe the guy is not getting enough at home, or the lady is not getting enough at home. Then he's seeking for he's a, seeking for spear, spear, <laughs> spear boys. He's seeking he's seeking for another out there. Mm. And this woman, see, you, there's no woman you would do it with that would be happy, at or there's no man that you would do it with that would be happy. You understand? You know, <laughs> you know. So please try as much as possible that you are safe. In the confine of marriage, mm -hmm. stay within your marriage. Work on your, on your, on your sex prowess mm -hmm. in marriage. Although you there are some things that may want to affect your sexual life. Please work on it. Mm -hmm. As for woman, for women, reduce stress. Mm -hmm. Let your stress, stress level be reduced. Let the atmosphere be conducive. Conducive. Ah, we'll tell a story. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let the atmosphere be conducive. You can have staycation, staycation mm -hmm. at the hotel. Just mm -hmm. go, one explore. You know when the atmosphere is conducive, it will help. Each, it will help in exploring each other's body. So let's do well to improve on our sex life. Like, if you need cancer, there are a lot of sex therapists so, that yes. I got to know through for me. Like, there are a lot of them on Instagram. Which one is true for me again? Through this. <laughs> <laughs> There are people like, should I even mention names? No, 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 okay. no, they didn't pay for it okay. now. So there are people like that that are fully recommended and I follow them. They will even give you exercise, sex exercise, mm -hmm. what to do this week, mm -hmm. how many times. You know, it will just help you, it will help you and it will keep like the intimacy to bond. be on the right frequency. Yeah. So please, guys, please work on it yeah, so that you will have a stable home. And, and if you are need, if you are about to get married, yes, yes, yes. If you are about to get married and you don't even know Jack, don't worry, don't worry. Just DM for me. I'm interested in like training two people just yeah. to before it starts. Two couples, two, two couples, couple, two couples couple. to be. Be yes. Yeah. Because when we are about to get married, I got to know about the class. I paid for it. I told Fumi, so Fumi paid for it. When I was about getting married, you know, I should have said Fumi, come and teach me. I still paid for it. Did I not teach you? You taught me something, <laughs> but <laughs> I still paid for it. I and my mm. husband to be there. And it really helped us. So from the weight of my knowledge, I can help two people. But one the condition is you and your partner. You mm. must be ready. You must I be can't teach only one person. Then you must have a wedding date. In view. In view. In view. In view. That, Please, that's so that your body will not be, be doing shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Just do it to DM her and that can destroy or ruin your home. Do you have any parting words? Mm, I would just like to say, like, 
let Christ be the center mm -hmm. of your marriage. Yeah. Because in this world, there are a lot of perfection, there are a lot of advice, there are a lot of counsel. But when you know that, okay, God is still the one, is still the center that holds that this marriage, marriage it will that. help you to like honor each other. The, all the things we've mentioned there, it will help you to avoid it and go in the right direction. And whenever you are facing a challenge that you cannot handle that is becoming overwhelming, please oh seek counsel. Seek counsel in the appropriate quarters. Mm -hmm. There are people that are marriage coach, there are people that are marriage counselors, there are people, don't just die in silence, yes, speak, speak out, out and seek counsel. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. It's good to have you here today. Thank you. It's I a play. <laughs> Oh, so it's, it's nice to me this video. Yeah. <laughs> and thank God. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've gained a lot. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Share it to everyone around you. Everybody 25 year old um, married. That your auntie that is 25 years old needs this marriage. Need this video want to more. Please share this video to everyone. Everyone yeah. needs And to please see. like. Please, like I want you to like our videos because there's a way it makes YouTube to recommend it to mm -hmm. other people. Please mm -hmm. like. As much as you're just clicking, like. Nicodemus, like. Subscribe to Nicodemus. Thank you. All right. So, to we'll see you again in the next video, we'll call, we'll call you blessed. Bye. <laughs>